Wow. Yeah. And, and the reason it's important is because the I am is saying that because these four domains interconnect, the home, the social, the biological, and the IC, because they interconnect, a small change can have a big effect. You don't need to change everything. If you don't like your I am, here's the roadmap. Here are the four domains. What small change can you make to move you to another I am where you feel more successful? And David, there it was. In my social domain, here was a small change. This person walks into the room, crosses over to me, and that small change had a huge effect. So that's the first rule. Small changes can have big effects. Yeah. The second truth of the I am, you control no one, you influence everyone. You get to choose the kind of influence you want to be. You control no one, you influence everyone. So let's think about what kind of influence do people really want to be? I really believe that people are good. And I think when you see war, if you really think about what's happening, the only way these people can go to war with each other is to dehumanize the other person. Think about it. We, one group will dehumanize another group, which gives them almost the, the ability to then hurt. But what does that really say about who we are as human beings? What it says is that inside, what we really are, is we don't want to hurt each other. We have to dehumanize in order to do that. Right. That's powerful. I'm remembering these stories uh, from, uh, I think, the First and Second World War. I think they happened in both cases where uh, around Christmas time, there were situations where the two sides stopped fighting and just kind of celebrated yes. with one another. I mean, extraordinary to think that that could even happen. You know, I'm getting goosebumps just hearing that, you know, really am, because it's powerful. It says so much about who we are. This is why I really hope people will pick up this book, Unleashing the Power of Respect. The Power of Respect. When's the last time you got angry at someone treating you with respect? Yeah. But the way we do it is to recognize that, you know, we spend a lot of time judging ourselves as well. We have this inner critic. I should be doing better. What's wrong with me? And then are astonished that we have a particular response. You know, and that response can be anger or anxiety or sadness. And, you know, first, let me just say, the only mistake that you've made here, David, today, the only mistake is giving a psychiatrist a chance to talk. Because okay? <laughs> we, we usually here. listen. We usually <laughs> listen, you know? Yeah. So when we do get a chance to talk, we don't stop talking. So, yeah, that's so why here, we're here. here here's, here's the basis of this. Again, it goes back now to the sociobiology, right? the genetics of behavior. We are these survival machines. There's the fight, flight, freeze branch. Fight, anger. You approach a predator and you think you can beat it and you try to get it to run away. You try to elicit the flight response in that predator. Then there's flight, which is when you're faced with a predator and you know you can't beat it. So you try to freeze and become invisible. The first, the fight branch in humans is anger, an emotion designed to change things. The flight branch is anxiety. When we try to avoid things, we get worried, so we run away. But every now and then, you're faced with a predator or a danger that you know you're not strong enough to beat, but you just can't get away. So the next best strategy is to freeze and become invisible and hope the danger passes. And I think in humans, that's depression, uh -huh. where you just can't get away from it, so you just shut down. Now, curiously, there's a fourth F that people are looking at, which is called to form, 
F-A-W-N, fawning, where you are, you're trying the best to talk somebody else out of hurting you. And I think that has gotten a bad rap because it sounds like a weakness. But human beings have actually evolved three new Fs, family, friendship, fellowship, and if you're not very good at spelling, physician, where you share the worry with each other. So this is why this value thing is so important. Because millions of years ago, we weren't the biggest animal, we weren't the fastest, we weren't the strongest. We were these isolated mammals scurrying around, hoping not to be lunch. We were the prey. And then we formed these small social groups. And our survival potential increased so dramatically that human beings were everywhere. But to access the protection of that group, you have to contribute to that group, which means you have to have value. 